Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the mechanisms of hormone action. The action of hormone can be divided into two phases. First, the formation of a hormone receptor complex. In the second phase, the hormone binding to the receptor produces the effect and this phenomena and this series of chemical reactions this produce the response which produce the response form the second phase of hormonal action. First we shall discuss the formation of hormone receptor complex which is the first step of a hormone's action during this the hormone binds to a specific receptor at the target cell. This binding results in the formation of hormone receptor complex. Dear students, the receptors of hormones are large proteins. Every target cell may have about 20,000 to 100,000 receptors. Cells jinke paas aise receptors nahi hote unke saath hormone bind nahi karte. Har hormone ko bind karne ke liye sirf chand cells ke paas aise receptors hote hain aur baaki jin cells ke paas receptors nahi hote hormones unke saath bind nahi karte. Yehi wajah hai hormones ki specificity ki. Dear students, now we shall discuss where the hormone receptors are located in the cell. The receptors for lipid insoluble, hydrophilic water soluble hormones, for example, catecholamines, protein, and peptide hormones, are present in the plasma membrane. These hormones, being lipid insoluble, cannot penetrate the cell. So, they bind to the surface receptors. The steroid hormones and lipid soluble hormones can enter in the cell. So, their receptors are present inside the cell. The steroid hormones have two receptors in a cell. The primary receptors are present in the cytoplasm, while they have secondary receptors inside the nucleus. The steroid hormones, being lipid soluble, can easily enter into the cytoplasm and bind to the receptors which lie inside the cell. So, Lipid insoluble hormones ke nisbat, jo ke cell mein enter nahi ho sakte, is liye unki to majburi hai ke wo plasma membrane ke upar hi bind kare, kyunke unho ne cell mein enter nahi ho sakna. Lekin, steroid hormones chu ke cell mein enter ho sakte hai, lehada, they can bind with the cytoplasmic receptors. Steroid hormone ke lava jo lipid soluble hormones hai, wo thyroid hormones hai, thyroxin and triadothyronine. ये हार्मोन्स जो हैं इनके रिसेप्टर्स न्यूक्लियस में पाए जाते हैं इनके रिसेप्टर्स साइटोप्लाज्म में भी नहीं होते डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस द फिनोमेना दैट प्रोड्यूसेस रिस्पांस द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हार्मोन रिसेप्टर कॉम्प्लेक्स initiates a cascade of reactions in the cell. These intracellular reactions and mechanisms vary for the hormones which bind to cytoplasmic receptors or to the, um, to the plasma membrane receptors or to the nuclear receptors. Now we shall discuss the mechanism of action of 
lipid soluble hormones the lipid soluble hormones which bind to the cytoplasmic or nuclear receptors make the hormone receptor complexes which translocate finally into the nucleus and there they act directly on the dna causing changes in gene expression such effects are long term and may last for hours to days the mechanism of action of lipid insoluble hormones is different from those of lipid soluble hormones their binding to cell membrane receptors leads to the production of second messengers the second messengers may be one or more than one in this series second messengers jab ban jate hain to they amplify the signal aur iske nateeje mein jo response produce hota hai wo rapid hota hai lekin short lived hota hai aur chand minute se lekar chand ghanton tak jari reh sakta hai ye effect mukhtalif effector proteins ki activation ke through produce hota hai dear students now we shall discuss the mechanism of action of prostaglandins prostaglandins are lipid soluble hormones however they bind to the cell surface receptors and produce a rock a rapid and short lived response which is similar to that of lipid insoluble hormones